Yeah, they tryna hit me, I'm running the race. I gotta pick up the pace. They throwing shit, but I'm gone. You gotta keep it Get in, losers. losers. We're talking shit. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Get In Loser. It is your host with the most, most from coast to coast, always, always eating toast, toast, Amari Stewart. <laughs> and, we are, <laughs> and we are gathered here today with the most lovely, sexy, fly, hot, beautiful, gorgeous, show stopping, really? stunning oh co host ever. We have Miss Tara's World. I'm white. You're going to make me blush. Stop, stop, stop. And we've got Mr. Zach Clayton. Uh, where's the handsome? The handsome as ever, Zach Clayton, uh, because the, the, pri the part before wasn't enough. No. No, it wasn't <laughs> enough. If I don't hear the handsome, I'm not satisfied. <laughs> Guys, okay. not going to lie, this is our second episode we're shooting today in this one session. We never really <laughs> do that, which means we've had more time to have a few more drinks. There we go. That's what I was going to say. So bear with <laughs> us. We love you guys so much. If you're watching like and or listening. Right <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone hear me? <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching and or listening, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Get and Loser Pod. And Bam. never forget that video comes out two days after audio. Mm -hmm. If you want to see these sexy faces, go ahead over to the YouTube. Which you should, because oh. I just came back from Hawaii and I've got a nice tan. <laughs> <laughs> I want you all to see it, guys. All right, you guys. So we're just going to go ahead, as we always do, give you guys a little life update. This is kind of weird because we already shot one episode today. So mm. I feel like we've done a lot in terms of updating you guys on our lives. But mm -hmm. what I just thought about that we didn't talk about in the last episode was Tana and Ari's iconic birthday party that we just had. I didn't go to. Yeah. Me, Mad. actually, I was at the party. We were, I barely party. saw you, too. I saw you for, like, one Blah. second. It's my friends calling me all night, like, get me in that party. I'm like, it's not my party. <laughs> like, I'm in Rhode Island, like, at a bar. My yeah. friends are just blowing me up, like, you don't even understand. I'm like, you you call them. You're like, that's <laughs> not my problem. That's my favorite thing, too. It's like, okay, you ask. Yeah. Like, sorry, like, I don't know what you want me to do. because I feel bad. I'm like, I'm like sorry, <laughs> You did call me, like, like, can you help? And I was like... I feel bad, but like the list, you understand the list literally. Oh, yeah, I under Fuck. completely understand. Oh Fuck. my god, it was a list of like, I don't even know, like three hundred people with plus ones, like yeah. plus twos. Like you were on the list with plus four or like plus five because you always yeah. got to have your hustles with you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so there were like a lot of pluses and stuff like that. And we were like, oh shit! Like the homeowner literally said, like probably like, two fifty people would be okay. Definitely and there that. were definitely more people on the list. <laughs> and. There was like a solid like 400, but we also took into consideration the fact that people would probably be leaving. Some people would come in like, yeah. you yeah. know, like when you're outside of somewhere and they're like, no, we're at maximum occupancy. You're like eight people just walked out. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so we're kind of thinking with like that mindset just right. to like try and get away with it. Smart. And Did you have like someone at the door like doing all that? Yeah, there yeah, was security. Was there was yeah. security. There was like security outside of the gate and then security inside, inside of the, the gate. gate. I was like, oh There shit. were like wristbands yeah. and shit for like certain people. Yeah. There were security following certain people just to like make sure things are okay and then like you don't know there's like certain areas you could only go into if you had a wristband so there was just like a lot that went into a it vip <laughs> vip my favorite part was at the end of it when it got shut down and like y'all pulled like certain people into that like movie room and, oh yeah and you saw me like pull me in, i was like yes we <laughs> yes we made it um yeah it was a lot of fun though but it was very like stressful because i feel like when you like especially like Tan and Ari, like my best friends, I feel like mm -hmm. we all know the same people for the most part. So it's yeah. like when you are seeing all of these people, it's not even like a thing where it's like, I don't know, I think if you go to a house party, you like find your group or the people you like, and then you can just stick with them yeah. exactly. because there's a bunch of randoms. But like for the most part, no one at this party was random. So it was just like hella people every two seconds. Like, I, like yeah. I said hi to you for a second, I had to say hi to someone else. When in, oh, in reality, God, like, I'd rather like just talk attack. to you for it's a long like, time. At a normal yeah. party, like usually if you like walk away like and you're not with your group, it takes a while to like find someone you know. I swear, even like me and like it wasn't a lot yeah. of my people, but I feel like everywhere I looked, I knew someone was yeah. like, oh, so I was never uncomfortable. I always had somebody to like go uh -huh. and like, talk to. And then to. everyone's like, let's take a shot together. I like, oh my God, and it's like, 20 people later, 20 shots later, you're like, you got a line of 30 I don't at the need bar. to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that happened Where's to me at the party Uber? I threw at my mother's house. Like, I usually don't know anybody at, at parties, but like mm -hmm. everyone there knew, knew me. So they were like, oh, let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. Every group of girls that I walked up to, I was just like, I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then what, so what was what different about this is like, we like had a house for it. It wasn't at our house. So it's one of those things where, oh. like, if we ever have people over at our house, like, if I get too drunk, I'm just like, okay, bye, I'm going to bed downstairs, yeah. whatever. Right. But, like, here, it's like, you got to, like, be built strong to last long, dirt yeah. so. Yeah, like, last through the night. Yeah, and it's like, you can't do that because you can't just, like, go to your room when you're at, like, a party full of people and there's people everywhere. Like, it's not that easy. And yeah. you don't want to, like, leave because it's like, this is actually a lot of fun, even though it's like, I should leave. I'm a and, little blacked out, but I should probably go. Uh-huh, yeah. but then it's like, oh, on the way out, like, 
seven more people like want to take a shot (laughs) so it was a lot it was really fun i remember (laughs) trying to think of what i do remember um it's like not much i spent most of my time in that theater room because yeah i was just like too drunk and it was just a lot very nice movie room there was someone that like pressed ari i think at one point and like going to the bathroom or something like that i think he like pressed you oh someone i was bringing josie and renee to the bathroom I'm not gonna have my fucking hot supermodel fucking friends waiting in a line down the miles. It's my birthday, so I bring them to the front. And some kid goes, Who the fuck are you? I go, And I had security following me. And I go, Him, drag the bathroom down. <laughs> you should. and it's funny because like you're asking like who are you and like there were literally like signs of tannis and ari's heads like all over the, the party yeah yeah and what was also funny <laughs> i carried one too. around for a little bit i got Same. drunk enough and i was like Ugh. yeah <laughs> and it was also just really funny because like we didn't we were out at dinner before the yeah. party started like the party started at like 10 we were at dinner from like 9 to like 10 40 so yeah, are already fucked up. Uh-huh, exactly. Up. So then we like show up because everyone wants to have their moment. Oh, forgot about this, by the way. Our party bus driver didn't want to drive us like to the house. And like, I don't understand. Well, actually, I wouldn't even understand if it was like to our current house because like fire trucks come up that hill. And the party bus driver didn't want to take it through like the little hill or whatever. And the hill was very tiny. It wasn't anything crazy. And like made us all get out. The the party bus ride for a solid like six minutes from catch was $1,000. And or maybe even like a little bit more. So you got and a then, bus for six minutes to pay a thousand dollars for that? It was supposed to be all the way to the house, and, <laughs> <laughs> which is a solid another like five, like 11 minutes. I don't know. It wasn't a far drive at all from catch to the house. Right. And he's like freaking out. He's like, no, you guys all need to get out. Like, I'm not driving up there. And we're like, sir, please, like, we'll pay more, anything like that. And he's like, no, I'm not doing it. And we're like, okay, well, you just drove us like six minutes. Like, what? I we all have I, to like, get out. Con- no, because you said fire truck so much years out. I was going to say, I kind of understand it because, like, turning through a hill with, like, that long uh-huh. of a car. But he took the ride. Facts. Yeah, he should have known. It. Well, yeah, he knew it. And they into. told us beforehand, like, okay, like, if it's in the hills, it's not going to work. But then we, like, explained to them that it's, like, kind of, like, up a hill, but it's not in the hills like our house is. Our house yeah, would be treacherous. But at the same the time, hills. fire trucks make it up there. Yeah. So we're just assuming, like, everything will be fine. Which, like, that's very impressive, that yeah. fire trucks are able to get to y'all's house, because yeah. I even and hate that And they have to. They have yeah. to. You know what if the house is on fire? You gotta do what you gotta do. And so, yeah, we all get kicked off the party bus and have to all order, like, separate Ubers just to go up the hill. And we're all like, what the fuck? So then we all show up, like, differently in, like, different groups. And we all want to show up together, like, fun, like, looking hot, like, after our yeah. catch dinner. Walking. It's Tana and Ari's birthday party, like, just a yeah. squad, you know? And that didn't happen. But it was really fun. And fun. I'm really sad you weren't there because you would have had so much fun. Yeah. You probably would have been stressed, but you definitely had, like, a solid <laughs> plus know, six. I think well. you had, like, plus six, too, because I remember, like, right before I, I was, like. I didn't even know I was coming. <laughs> I had no idea. I got oh wait, yeah, you didn't know because my whole birthday was like just being surprised with everything. So yeah. they literally put me in an Uber and blindfolded. Well, they got me drunk as fuck before he left, mm-hmm. and then threw me in an Uber, blindfolded me, and said, "You don't know." Like I had no idea. Oh, that mm-hmm. was that night. It was every night. Everything that w- happened, I didn't know. Like I had mm-hmm. zero you were blindfolded idea. every night, every single night. What <laughs> happened? Nick just texted me like, "Oh, like we're gonna come with Zach. Like, can you add us to the list?" And that was like a literally like six or seven people. So I was like, yeah. Zach plus six, yeah. and we're going through the list like. Cutting down people, getting rid of like some people's plus ones. Cause so we really did have to. So, did you have to do to... like hit everyone up, like, oh, like you can't bring that person anymore? I did like text a few people and be yeah. like, <laughs> like no, that plus four actually just downgraded a plus two. Sorry about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had to do things like that. And then. Well, I apologize. I didn't. Oh, no, it was totally fine. Like, you could bring whoever the fuck you want. Hell like, that's yeah. Fine. yeah. And so. Get in, loser. <laughs> we'd like let some people down along the way. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know, it got shut down like at a certain time. Ari's like crying. Like, <laughs> because there were too many people there and like the cops kept getting called and stuff. But the party did last a decent amount of time. Like, a yeah, really a solid long. amount of time. Yeah, it went for exactly. Like, that's a long time, 4 a.m. And then we had people over at our house after. And that was just game over. It was like, we're already blacked. And we stayed up until like 9 a.m. I was was like, this is gnarly. I need to go the fuck to bed. I was like waking up in Rhode Island. I I looked at your uh, Instagram story. It said 30 minutes ago. And you were at the pool. (laughs) (laughs) Bright sunshine. I was like, okay. People were like awake at 9 a.m. talking about like, let's go get bottomless mimosas. I was like, (laughs) Like, Fuck what? you, people. No one's going to get bottomless. Purposes. Yeah, motherfuckers out here are a little too crazy sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I'm one of those motherfuckers. And what I expected this year was... So basically, when Tana has her birthday parties, I remember her 21st birthday, my phone will not stop blowing up. People are like, can you help me get in? Can you help me get in? Yeah. Can you put me on the list? Blah, 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 whatever. And I'm like... Some people, I'm like, yes, I'll help you. But some people, I'm like, really 
Like, how'd you get my number? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Who are you? So I was just like, what the fuck? Like, but then I posted a story and I was like, if you're not on the list tonight, like, don't ask me to help you to get in. I will not be helping you. If you're not on the list, you will not get in. You posted and, that. Tana posted it. Ari posted uh, it. Uh, yeah. And it actually helped me a lot. Me texting you 10 minutes later. Hey, like. <laughs> <laughs> quite a few people, like, or no, I wouldn't say quite a few people. I'd say like very few people. Sorry, I'm like a little tips. Um, mm -hmm. Very few people actually texted or called me, like trying to get in. And I was actually really surprised because like on her 21st birthday, blown up, like yeah. nonstop. And we were filming MTV too. So it was just like, do not disturb. Mm -hmm. Airplane mode, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I even had people much calling better. me trying to get them in. I'm like, dude, it ain't my party. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. That's what gets me too. Is like people. I'm like, it's not my party. Yeah, at like, the same time, I'm like, text Tana, text Ari, hit them up. Not me. Yeah. It's not my party. My friend's hitting me up. I'm like across the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? You're like, it's not my party, and I'm in a different time zone. Yeah, so. yeah. the whole different time zone. It's like it's 7 p.m. What do you want from me? My fuckers do anything no to get into an LA party, mm -hmm. but. At least it was that party of all parties to like get into because it was the one you definitely wanted to get into. <laughs> Your outfit was was fly as hell. Yeah, the skeleton pants. You should have seen him leading up to his outfits. So he had great outfits, but he was panicking, saying this is gonna be the worst birthday ever. I have nothing to wear. <laughs> <laughs> like, go, literally on the verge of tears. Yeah, on the way to Sugar Factory, he's like having a fucking meltdown, and he's like, I don't give a fuck about anything. Fuck my birthday. Blah blah. All the stuff, and I'm like we're in the back seat. Like Ari, it's going to be fine. You're gonna look great no matter what. You're gonna have a great birthday. You're with all your friends. Yeah. You're with even more than just your friends because. We've got fucking Nancy over here and Sally over here from God knows where. So there were uh, uh, Tristan Thompson in the corner. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, you're going to be fine. How did fine. that come about? I don't know. Okay. Like, yeah. I really have no idea. And what's so funny to me is, like, I, like, saw the entire list because we were doing it on my laptop. And... Uh -huh. He wasn't on the list. <laughs> like, there was no Tristan Thompson on the list. I mean, he doesn't need to be on the list, obviously. Yeah. So, like, somebody just, like, randomly invite them? Or? I guess. And that's what gets me, too. I'm like, what happened to our post that said, if you're not on the list, you can't get in. But at the same time, I mean, it's Tristan Thompson. What are you going to do? Can't He's like, I'm enough. with Chloe and True. We're coming yeah. in. We're like, come on. <laughs> let in. Um, but, yeah. Party to remember. Yeah. Phenomenal party. Time. I had a great time. I, I, yeah. <laughs> and we will never do Happy it birthday. again. What the sad fact is, Ari turns twenty one next year, so it's like oh you, no, uh, be ready. Ty turns twenty one next year as well, so we've got some twenty ones. <laughs> We're gonna have another like twelve day bender for yeah. each of them next year. I'll be there. I'm there. Ty Chella and Ari Chella yeah. to come twenty twenty two. You guys stay tuned. Um, so among other things, one thing I wanted to talk about, uh, we've got the Demilios. <laughs> They're starting their own Hulu show, which I, I think is watch. pretty fucking cool. And so is it just like a reality show type thing? I think so. I'll be honest. I, I, it's I not going to be I that interesting, it. and I know that already, but it's just like them. I so think it's I'm more going to so be them. sitting in bed eating popcorn and watching, watching their show. I'm for excited days. to see what it comes out to be. Like, what if like Same. Charlie's like, "Fuck you!" Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like on like some MTV shit. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like it'll be really fun to watch, Wait. and just like I'm hoping maybe it'll get like deep, get like some inside scoop and stuff. Yeah. I just want inside scoops. I feel like it's going to be drama. super boring, but. Mm, I, nothing with them is boring to me. Yeah, it, it'll be like cool them. to see like, cause it's like reality shows, like to even see like what their lifestyle's like. Cause I feel like I have no idea how they live. I would assume it's like. Hectic. Uh, yeah, hectic and a lot going on. Yeah. So it'll be cool to see that, see their perspective. Mm -hmm. on like, and I just want to see like the parents coming in, like see if they're like very like momager, dadager. Or yeah. Like, mm. Work it. Yeah. Like very much like Mean Girls mom. Like uh, I'm trying uh. to see Dixie and Charlie get in a fight, man, or something. Oh, like I love drama. when they fight. I'm like, mm. yeah. <laughs> that's also very fun to look at. I love when Heidi like doesn't let Charlie post things. Like remember when she wouldn't let her post the WAP? She wouldn't let her post oh, something else. Yeah, yeah. She made her like delete some things. They also just did the Family Feud thing with um JoJo. Oh, I saw. I saw, I saw like yeah. snippets of it. I'm watching it tonight. Thing. I saw her TikTok with what's his name, Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. Steve Harvey? Yeah. yeah, I saw her TikTok with him. I was like, oh my God, really? Iconic. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Two iconic families. And then most importantly that I think we need to talk about oh, is yeah. the Free Britney movement. Um, this one I'm a little I feel very passionate about, passionate yeah. about. Yeah, so if we were, if she was in jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, no like, yeah, because I kept seeing Free Britney on like line and like I just didn't dive into it because like, I you thought it. she got arrested. Yeah, I was like, wait, is she in jail right now? No, her motherfucking family needs to be put in jail, locked yeah. away forever and fucking. So I watched the documentary like mm -hmm. a couple months ago, but that's the only thing I've watched. I haven't, like, I literally don't know anything about anything ever. So mm -hmm. that's the only thing I watched and. You need to explain. Okay, so just recently, she was finally able to, like, go to court and, like, have a trial for her requesting, like, just to either be freed from her conservatorship. Yeah. Because her conservatorship... Do you know what a conservatorship is? Yeah. 
No, you don't. Just say no. Hell yeah, Just I say do. Say no. no fuck no, baby. Um, <laughs> no. In the beginning, she like wasn't fully like stable, like mentally, and like she kind of was like just not making the right decisions. So they felt as though she needed to be put into a conservatorship where people can like make better decisions with her finances and her day to day life decisions and just like things like that. I, it was just because the paparazzi like, were driving her insane, and she was going like mentally insane because yeah. of that. Like it wasn't, oh. you know, like the whole mm -hmm. fame life and everything. Yeah, too. it was nuts. Yeah, so but, they so decided another. She has like no freedom. Like yeah, with she would go into like life. a gas station bathroom and have like twenty paparazzi around her, just screaming in her face. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and people like following her with her kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. so she was just getting pissed, which mm -hmm. I mean, rightfully Duh. so. Yeah, that would piss and, me off the most. The kids, mm -hmm. fuck. No, so she got put into a conservatorship, but the conservatorship was like her family members, like her dad. Her, is her sister one of her conservators? Not at the beginning. Um, has some oh, that's what it is. It's a Britney dies. Jamie Lynn Spears gets everything. <laughs> for what? <laughs> Am I getting for pregnant why? and ruining fucking... Like um, she's like, don't stand up for her. They're like, weird, because you get everything if she drops dead. Like, babe, didn't Zoe one one croak because you got pregnant? Like, I'm yeah. confused. <laughs> what, where does the, why does the money go to oh. you? And so, obviously, Jamie Lynn's going to do everything in her power to kind of keep Britney in the conservatorship. And then, right. like the dad has been like wrongfully like drugging her and there's like in the documentary you see like him like punishing her like she doesn't want to like take her meds be and because they make her crazy and she's like i don't want to take them they like pretty much like tranquilize her and not like tranquilize her but like she's just like not there as a person yeah and like there was like she was supposed to announce like some tour in vegas and she didn't go out there and announce it because she was pissed. She's like, I don't want to do this. They're making me do this like, against my will. So she goes out, is completely silent, just like waves to people, smiles at them, doesn't announce the tour. And then the dad like loses his shit and like cancels like everything, like locks her up. She's like fully like, she doesn't have control of her money. She doesn't have control of any decision she makes. She can't see her kids. Like her relationship what? even I think is like fucked. And like all she wants, she has an IUD stuck in her. So why are they doing this though? Like, do they think that she's gonna like go out and like speak crazy or like? Because they have all of her money. Right, so they wanna be in control of that. Like they're just Yeah, and they're just using it for their own personal gain and just, it just benefits them. Like if you have all of Britney Spears money, like you're not going yeah, anywhere, you're, you're living chilling, you're chilling, you're chilling. And she's getting paid like tons of money yeah. in Vegas for her residency. She had a show in Vegas that was like residency at, I don't remember where it was, but some big club. Somewhere. and Planet Hollywood, yeah. And oh yeah. yeah. She was supposed to announce like the second that. tour and then didn't, cause she was just like, fuck this. And mm. her dad like flipped out on her like in practice one day. And so basically just recently there was a trial for her to be freed from the conservatorship or just get a new conservator, one that like was trusted and one that was like, I don't know, like promising and like from the core Decent. or something like that. And like do just, what they're supposed to Yeah, someone that's not a psycho family member that's just in it for the money. Yeah. And literally like two days ago, maybe even yesterday. Uh, I think it was like two days ago. I literally just saw it, yeah. Yeah, the request got denied. And oh, now the whole no. world's going crazy because it's like, how could you possibly not free this girl? And she put out statements too. Like, it's so sad. Like, I heard I've seen it on TikTok and she's like those. talking about how like miserable she is. Like, she can't do anything herself. Like, she's saying it too. And normally, like if you see her Instagram, you're just like, this bitch is haywire. Like, none of it makes any sense. Like, her posts, like, they don't make any sense in terms of, like, she's using the same pictures over and over again. But then right. she'll, like, be, like, forced to, like, sit there in front of the camera and be like, they're from different days. And they're, like, obviously not. And she's like, just I just really like this top. But they're, like, reposting the same photos. So, like, took, like, 500 photos over the same day. So it's just, like, makes no sense. And she talks about literally all of it and, like, how That's it's, like, abusive kind of and really everything. Scary. And normally she wouldn't be able to put out a statement like that because she's like so drugged up. Mm -hmm. But the week like leading up to the court case, she was just with attorneys and lawyers and stuff and pretty much like telling them everything. And so she wasn't like out of her conservatorship for that week, but she was able to like collect her thoughts and like make her own decisions and like pretty much tell the lawyers everything, <coughs> prepare her statement without right. her family sitting there like forcing her to do anything. So she puts out the statement, does the court case, <coughs> gets denied. Wait, question, off topic. You know that one Black Mirror episode with Miley Cyrus? Yeah. This is giving me that kind of vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, honey, I'll do anything for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's actually very like scary, actually. Mm -hmm. so, so with that being said, denied? free Britney! Like, come on! What so the is it like proof, like actually out there that like she is being treated poorly and this is all happening? Yeah. So how does it get denied though? If there's like proof out there, I don't or is know. there not actual proof? Is it all just like off like rumor there's, assumption? Type there's shit? lots of like 
anonymous statements from other people, like witnesses, people that have been a part of their teams over the years. And like, even in the documentary, they like say things, like they talk about like her experiences and like what she's been through and what they've yeah. seen. And some people like don't give a fuck and just These say are, like, it. her closest people. Yeah, and then some thing. people literally like don't even, or some people will just remain anonymous because they don't want to get like guillotined. <sighs> that's so scary. Hey, Illuminati, sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, that's, that's, that's actually really terrifying, though. I just think it's all sorts of fucked up. If yeah. I were her, no, I'm not going to say it's, it. It's like, I'm going to have to it's now. Really good. Netflix? It's like, yeah? Uh, YouTube. Oh, I saw like a YouTube documentary. I don't remember where I watched also, it. Oh, there is one on Hulu, right? Is that the one we watched as well? I'll yeah. watch it, and then next week for the next, epi- or next episode, I'll like come back and like, holy uh-huh. fuck. And yeah. <laughs> next week, like you've done everything in your power to free Britney, and she's free. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> guys, I did what I had to do. She's good. <laughs> <laughs> you took your OnlyFans money and just swiped on Britney's I was screen. like, month one, uh, first month check, just go to Britney. Come on. <laughs> That's I funny. went on OnlyFans for the first time today in like a, in like five days. Oh, now like, I see you on my news feed. Oh, God. I'm, I'm doing something I've never done before with an eggplant emoji. <laughs> <laughs> it was like new, new month we're spicing it up boys and girls <laughs> yeah i was like i'm getting off of this right now <laughs> holy shit guys we're doing <laughs> phenomenal though so it's fine <laughs> it's I bet going you are. very well yeah okay you guys anywho uh, um, tune into the demilio show free britney and subscribe to zach's only fans yeah and, <laughs> and them too as well yeah and ours yeah please collab guys collab <laughs> maybe coming soon we've been talking about this forever we've yet to do it mm-hmm. yeah we just traveled the world so like now True. We're back. Yeah. kylie one of those places we had to go mm-hmm. kylie says kylie we do no. love kylie Fuck <laughs> kylie, love she really treats us good Okay, you guys, just I'm like we talk about in every other episode, we've talked about ourselves, we've talked about, we've talked about some, like, big name celebrities here, but we want to, like, spice things up and, like, stir the pot a little bit. Yeah. So, we? we're gonna oh. play a good game of <laughs> Fuck, Mary Cancel. Oh, God. Because we don't believe yeah. in death over here on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Peace to the people. We we'll don't just support you. <laughs> we'll just cancel you and suspend your fun. Wait, that's good, though. Cancel? <laughs> that's a good replacement, actually. I'm terrified for this. Get in, loser. We're playing Fuck, Fuck Mary Cancel. <laughs> yeah. All right. Second so, bird. with this segment, what I want you guys to do is comment down below who you would fuck Mary Cancel, or even comment down below new Fuck Mary Cancels that weren't included here because maybe we'll respond to them and give you our genuine answer. And like, thank God we have Amari. He's so good at, like, yeah. you know, explaining it, getting the ball rolling. <laughs> we and we also, sit here and we're like, <laughs> also, as we're playing, comment your answers. Like, literally play the round with us. So, like, you know what oh. I'm saying? Get involved, don't, don't, baby. Don't get wait involved. till the end. Do it right the fuck now. Get your damn comments yeah. out. Let's mm-hmm. go. Okay. Yeah. If you're. Uh, yeah. So for our first contestants on the get and lose or fuck Mary cancel segment, we have David Dobrik, Trisha Paytas, and Dixie D'Amelio. Yeah. Uh, this one kind of scares me. Same. I don't like I'm not going to lie. It's so easy for me. Well, I already, I'm I already know my answers. You just said them and I already knew. I don't even want to like speak on my answers. I'm just going to answer them and then take with that what you will. No reason. Yeah. Saying, yeah no, yeah. same. We've got, we've, yeah, same. been through too much. Um, So yeah, I'm going to kill Trisha Paytas. Oh, cancel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what did we just say? Oh, sorry, we don't, yep, no, you're Not right. Canceling Trisha Paytas Fuck. again. We're definitely getting hate for that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, this can't be the title, but canceling, canceling <laughs> Trisha. Oh, I gotta fuck her. Mar- okay, well, I'm gonna marry David. Oh fuck, I gotta fuck Dixie. <laughs> sorry, Noah. She's, she's eighteen. Yes, she's eighteen. Okay, 19. <laughs> yeah, she's 19. just making sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we gonna fuck Dixie. All right. All right. Um, I had the exact same <laughs> answers. Uh, I chose Mary David just because he got money. Well, he got money, and then also I just feel like he lives such a fun life. Like from the vlogs, yeah. you know, it's like mm. there's never a dull moment. Yeah, no, do we have the same, right. we have the same answers? Yeah, Mary David, cancel Trisha, <laughs> fuck Dixie. <laughs> Ty's on the other side of the camera. He's like, cute. <laughs> cute. Yeah, keep talking. And, like, and we're keep only talking. on the first one, so that's good. <laughs> okay, so All next right. up. Number two, we've got Miss Megan Fox, Mister mm. MGK, and Miss Addison Rae. Mm. Oh, oh, I like the, the rhyme, yeah. That was good. Fun. Okay, you go MGK first. Or just need to say more. Um, okay, so fuck, Mary cancel. Okay, so we gonna... Mm, that's rough. <laughs> We're gonna cancel uh, this MGK. I just feel like it makes huh? sense for it makes sense for me. Okay. Um, MGK, love you, dude. Music's great. Tattoos are cool, but you gotta go. Okay. Um, we gonna fuck Megan Fox. Because Transformers, Transformers, I literally cancel them. Okay. Like, I'm afraid for you, girl. Um, <laughs> we're gonna marry. Wait, did I say fuck? Fuck Megan and marry Addison because mm. Addison got money and she'll pay the bills. <laughs> um, I did. I'm gonna cancel MGK. Not even for any particular reason. Like, 
Yeah. Just canceling. Like, I, I like his music. I think he's dope as fuck, actually. I have no reason to, like, keep him in here when we've got two other good contenders. So wow. then I'm going to marry. You two chicken tenders? <laughs> oh, oh cont- my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm and we're going to marry Megan Fox because I feel like, how could you not want to live your life with a bitch that bad on your arm? Like, Transformers. You know? mm-hmm. And then we're going to go ahead and fuck Addison Ray. But, like, that's weird because she's, like, my friend. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Wow, okay, I'm marrying MGK. <laughs> wow. That's a switch. I'm fucking Addison Ray. Okay. And I'm canceling Megan Fox. Okay. What you got for any particular Megan? reason? I just don't I don't know her as much as I know them. Okay. I don't know any of them personally, but <laughs> I love MGK. Okay. So I want to marry him so I can spend every day. I with respect him. that. I'm okay, so okay. crazy. <laughs> so I can spend right, every second with him. <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have Doja Cat, Ariana Grande, and Pete Davidson. Ah, this is Pete this Davidson. Is now, here's the thing about Pete Davidson. I like can't usually name like celebrities that I, like I actually like because I don't really like care for celebrities. If we're just gonna be so honest, sick. but Pete Davidson literally like goes in my top three in like a heartbeat. I yep. love Pete Davidson. He's mm-hmm. so fucking funny. Yeah. A little dark, a little dark. I like but that. I like though. that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, but I could have fucking married a guy, so I don't, I don't know. I can't cancel me though. That's the boy. All right, so we gonna marry. <laughs> Is that the boy? <laughs> That's the Y'all boy. Y'all kick it. And we homies. <laughs> we kick it all the time. We smoke. You know, no big deal. Uh, we blaze it up. So I'm gonna say <laughs> we're gonna cancel Doja Cat because she's cool and all, but like I've never really like paid attention to her. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even like think of what she looked like right now. So I mean, yeah. I could, I could, but. Think of what she looks like, can you? Doja Cat? Yeah. Yeah. She used to live in the same, like, yeah, I can't. She used to live in the same building as Trevi. And oh, I don't know okay. if she still does, but I know Trevi doesn't live there anymore, so I've never right. been over there. But I would see her in the elevator all the time. Like, I've been in the elevator oh, with a solid like. She's definitely time. in a house now. She was always <laughs> on the phone too. Literally always on the phone. I, was, I wanted to like talk to Business her. Business calls. But she was always on the, the phone. phone. So, so I was like, eh. and I was looking cancel- raggedy. Wait, that's crazy. I'm gonna cancel just for that reason, just because like I don't really like like know her like that. Okay. Um oh my god. I'm gonna fuck Ariana. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, and then uh, Mary Pete, just so I can hear his jokes all day long. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we don't got to do nothing. We ain't got to tell you nothing like that. We're just, we're there. So I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm canceling Pete. Only all right, because, bro. All right. Well, he's had a lot of scandals on his back, but like, I don't know what they're about. I've just seen his name in headlines, whatever. But I'm canceling mainly for the reason that when we were both at the VMAs, he was wearing the same shoes as me and it was supposed oh. to be my time to shine, not yours, Pete. Okay. That's so, true. Yeah. I, I changed my right. answer then. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and marry Doja Cat because she's like very goofy and I feel like she'd just be like fun and really funny and like you're always entertained. I've seen mm-hmm. like her lives and shit. And she's also just kind of creative, like her music videos and stuff. And mm-hmm. then I, I feel like. one today. You did? I did. Which one? I don't know. It came up in my, like I was just like the YouTube videos were just playing mm-hmm. and one came up. I enjoyed yeah. it. And her music. She shot good. someone. Oh, shit. Yeah. And oh, then, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. Go off. And then we're going to go ahead and fuck Ariana Grande because, well, I feel like all of her music is about, like, sex. And I feel like all she does is brag about how she's, like, like so freaky or, like, alludes to that. So it's just, like. <laughs> I feel like you have to brag about it, though. You're, like, not actually <laughs> freaky. No, she's definitely freaky. <laughs> I don't know. Has to be good. That's my so. girl. All um, right. I'm canceling Doja Cat. I'm marrying Ariana Grande. And I'm fucking pete davidson is that yeah fucking right yeah 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 did i say the wrong thing <laughs> yeah yeah all right that was good okay ariana grande is my girl Dude, this next one yeah. just i would die to marry the her name. the reading the names on this next one just scares me the, the first up. one. Oh wait Dixie's we have this one. jojo siwa uh, dixie wait, d'amelio and dixie. kim kardashian should i know she's on her twice but someone again? else is on her twice too Oh, okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, we'll just throw her in the mix twice. I think mm-hmm. Doja's on there twice. Oh, no, Dua Lipa is. Yeah. No, I was just saying the names before Who you Who the should. fuck's Dua Lipa? Same. What? I know, like, Oh, artists. I was like, huh? I know of her, but... Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so, here's the issue. Now, I do know Joja j- just turned 18 <laughs> recently. I'm sorry, the alcohol's coming in. <laughs> she did just turn 18, but in my eyes, I still see her as 14. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't, I'm going to have to cancel, not in a hateful way. Yeah. But uh, she got to go. Yeah. Um, and then Kim Kardashian and Dixie. Mm, Mary Dixie because she's more like closer to my age. And then like, I don't know. I don't want to like marry someone that's already like mm-hmm. way older than me. And then I'm going to fuck me a little. I shouldn't say it. And then I'm going to fuck Kim. I'm going to fuck Kim. <laughs> We're not going to finish that sentence. Fuck you a little Kim. Um, <laughs> a little Kim. A little Kimmy. Um, it just so makes more sense. Like, she's Dixie's my age, so. Well, yeah. close. Like, I'm two years older. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel JoJo for no particular reason. Pretty much the same thing as you. It just makes me uncomfy. Yeah. Um, 
And then we're going to go ahead and fuck Dixie in hopes that maybe she'll just like make a song about me after. Mm -hmm. And then Kim Kardashian, we're going to go ahead and marry because one, the kids, the family, and the money. I didn't think about money. that. I didn't think about that. We yeah. have the same one? Did we all have the same one? Right? Yeah, we did. Cancel JoJo. Fuck Dixie. Marry him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all have the same one. Let's go, guys. Aww, oh, yeah. Teamwork. Thing. <laughs> yeah. United we stand. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I don't know about this next one. Okay, so next up, we've got Miss Billie Eilish, mm. Justin Bieber, and Dua Lipa. Okay. Mm. Can I look up a picture of Dua Lipa real quick, or is that, oh. is that against <laughs> Wait, the rules? Wait, I'm going to do that really quick. I don't like, you know, know what she looks, she looks like. like. I just need to like, refresh my memory. I'm sure I've seen her many times. One. Wait a tick. So. Wait, let me see. I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna cancel Justin Bieber because me and huh? him, me and me and him have beef. Not not actually, but in my eyes we have beef. I feel like I might have already talked about. Does he this follow morning. you on Instagram? He did, and he, you know what I'm saying messaged me a whole it's a whole thing. But I have he beef with him you? now. Yeah, I feel like I've talked about this already. No, no, I, I don't know about this. Or did I just? Yeah. I mean, it's no big deal. Uh, no, he wanted a <laughs> long story short. He wanted to write me a song when I was like making rap music and shit because he really liked it. And then he messaged me when I was in transformation into like just Zach Clay and like not really like being where I was. But he didn't know because I was doing it like ba in the background. Like nobody on the internet knew I was transitioning back just into Zach Clay and growing my hair out. Mm -hmm. And he liked me for being bad Zach and bald and rapping. So when he saw my username change and my hair grow out, he just like completely cut me off type beat. Did he and message I, you anything about that? Nah, but like I came to the assumption that it was because he liked me when I was rapping. Because mm -hmm. he like, he even put me on a story when my username was bad Zach. Like the fact that he was even like had the courage to do that. I was like, dude, my name is Bad Zach. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, wow. yeah, fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> Cancel Justin. Um, mm, we're going to marry Billy because... Mm, and then we're mm -hmm. going to fuck the other one, Dua. Du <laughs> the Dua other one? <laughs> Duo Lochito. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and marry Billy just because she's such a good singer. I would love to hear that all the time. And I feel like she's so wise for her age. So I feel like she'd give really good advice. Facts. And I honestly think she'd be a great mom. Yeah. So, yeah. And then she's also very family oriented. You can see like in anything they do, like she loves her family so much. And I feel like it's a great family, so. And then we're gonna go ahead and fuck Justin Bieber because I feel like that's like everyone's like little like young heartthrob. But then at the same time, yeah. I don't Baby. wanna infiltrate on him and Haley, because I love him and Haley together. Oh, true. So I would hate to step on any toes there. Well, I'm going like to step on some toes. Or some shit. Sneaky and then way. we're going to go ahead and cancel Dua Lipa for that awful <laughs> dancing she performed on the stage one time. You know the, the meme where she's like, ding, ding, ding. It's so bad. And she like, does the hip thing. We can go ahead <laughs> and put it in here. Please we'll, never we'll put it in here so you guys understand. Okay, uh, I'm like, so the audio listeners, that. it sounds like you're going to have to come watch the video if you don't know what segment I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, okay. I'm going to cancel her for that. Um, I was already <laughs> going to. I'm marrying Justin Bieber because I need to hear that new album live in my household. That would be very fire, actually. It's, it's like, something else. to see else. him make the songs and shit, that'd be fire. It's something else. When I run on the treadmill, I just, like, think of my crush, like, performing that to me because yeah. I'm crazy. <laughs> and it takes my mind off of running. So, like, yeah. he performs the whole concert to me, mm -hmm. and it, but it's Justin Bieber's album, and I'm going to fuck Billie Eilish. Okay. Yeah? Nice. Interesting. That was good. That was great. Yeah. Okay, next up we have Taylor Swift, Britney Spears, and Jamie Lynn Spears. Ew, fuck Jamie Lynn Spears. So, I'm gonna... <laughs> s is that her sister, Jamie? Is yeah. that not... It's her sister? Yeah. Yeah. Thank God, I was like... Sorry, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm educated, I don't know. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna cancel her. Yeah. Um. Oh, Taylor Swift, Britney Spears. I don't know, it's weird. Growing up, I had a thing for Taylor just because, like, I'm from Texas. I love my country music. Um... Fuck, Two. wait, sorry, this is hard. Okay, mm, we're gonna... Mm, fuck, man. We're gonna fuck Britney and then marry Taylor. Okay. Okay, so I'm canceling Jamie Lynn Spears for very obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. I feel like you all should as well. Hashtag cancel Jamie Lynn Spears. Let's get it going. Let's get it trending on Twitter. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and marry Britney Spears because I just wanna look after her. Like, I know she'll be safe with me. Like, I won't let anyone, like, snatch you up or anything, like, crazy. I won't control your finances. Like, <laughs> I'll just, you'll be free with me, right. okay, Britney? And then I'm gonna go ahead and fuck Taylor Swift because I do like some of her music and then maybe she'll just make a good song about me and then bless the whole world. Yeah. She also got fucked over like pretty hard too, huh? With like her music and stuff. Like with Scooter Ron. Taylor? Oh, yeah. Yeah. wait. She had to like, like yeah. re release it Yeah, because they wouldn't give her her masters. Which mm -hmm. Remember that? It's a big issue with artists, so I felt pretty bad for her. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel Jamie, obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck Britney cause, so I can marry Taylor. 
Okay. I love Taylor since a very young age. Uh, I had a little crush growing up. Yeah. Well, not now, but like I used to be. I used to like cry a lot with her. Yeah. My father. (laughs) (laughs) That's me and my dad's like artist. (laughs) Um, Next up, we have Emma (gasps) Chamberlain, Lil Nas X, and Saweetie. These just keep getting more and more interesting. Right? Like, how do these three people go together? But. Um, hmm. I don't want to go first this time. Can we, like, I'm, I'm going first. Okay. I'm marrying the fuck out of Emma Chamberlain. I love Emma Chamberlain. Mm-hmm. That yeah. girl is my like. I wake up on Sunday because I know she's posting that day, and I I refresh YouTube. Okay, I refresh her podcast on Thursdays. That girl is insane. We didn't. Get I love her more than anything. She would never. Oh, she would never. <laughs> Don't say never. She would fucking never. But never I love her say anyways. never, like Justin never said. Never say right? never. She would never. But <laughs> I love right, her. Then. And then the rest? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. She's like, I just want to marry Emma. That's um, it. I'll cancel. Oh, fuck. I'll fuck Lil Nas, and I'll cancel Sweetie. Okay. Mm. For any particular Sweetie. reason. Sweetie. Well, Lil Nas is hot, but he's also gay. But I'll still fuck him. Why not? Okay. Right? I don't know, like, Sweetie a lot mm-hmm. much, so. I know that one song. What's that song? My Type. <sighs> you gotta... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that her? That's Doja Cat. Cat. Oh, I'm oh like, yeah. God. I don't even know, dude. You <laughs> uncultured swine. I just know she dated Quavo. <laughs> Does she? Sweetie did, yeah, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, Aren't they still together? No, they no. broke up recently. Oh. Um, and oops. Jack Jack Harlow hit on her. I was like, my boy, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jack Harlow. I'm going to go ahead and marry Emma Chamberlain mm. just so I can make it in the vlog. And then also her cats are really cute and I'm mm. very much a cat guy. Right. And then I'm going to go ahead and cancel Lil Nas X because he like, did like some like devil worshipy shit. He did? And yeah, the music video for that one song. Yeah, it just like creeped me out. I mean, it was cool. Like the budget was insane, obviously. Yeah, like, it was a dope yeah. ass produced video. Oh, but, like, wait. Wait, what happened quickly? It was just very controversial and it was very like satanic, like mm-hmm. devil worship type thing. It was just like it was like relating, weird. like I think it was like relating like being gay with like hell, but like, oh. but I think it was kind of just to like say fuck you to people to say like gays are going to hell because he also like fucks oh. the devil. At the but end. it didn't sit right with a lot of people. Yeah, so. yeah it was just weird. Just maybe okay. a little it's crazy. A little, it's a little too much. A little mm-hmm. too much. And then we're gonna fuck Sweetie because she's just like a bad bitch. And yeah, then, yeah. So. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to cancel Lil Nas for the exact reason because I actually read about that and I was just like, ah, it's a little weird. But I, I also, like, really do like him and, like, I'm not, like, knocking him because I think the way he's always marketed himself is, like, genius. Mm-hmm. Like, for him to be, like, an artist but still, like, use social media as heavily as he does uh-huh. and for it to, like, work for him, pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. I'm not mm-hmm. going to lie. I've always loved Emma as well. I've always, like, and the thing is, is, like, I wasn't always, like, super, like, just attracted to her, like, looks. Like, her personality is what I really liked about her. Mm-hmm. And, like, her like her videos, like, the way she edits and stuff's always been badass. So, I'm going to marry her and then fuck Sweetie. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're all marrying Emma. Who yeah. wins? Yeah. <laughs> Me, bitch. <laughs> we'll Me. fight to the death for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Next on the lineup, we have Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott, and Jordan Woods. All right. All right. Is it me? Oh, God damn. Do you want to go first? I mean, I guess, yeah. Um, oh, fuck, man. I'm going to be real with you. I don't really know Jordan Woods like that. I know that name, and I know I was like friends with Kylie, right? Not anymore. I'm like, give or take. Like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's the last thing I knew. Um, so I'm going to cancel just because I don't know her. We're going to marry Travis, but we just, you know, we homies, but we're married <laughs> and this the weird thing we got going on. Um, <laughs> just so I can hear the unreleased music and before it comes out, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> and then what's the last one? Oh, fuck Kylie Jenner. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and marry Kylie Jenner because who wouldn't want to be like Storm's oh. parent? Like, I just need that in my life. <clears throat> and obviously... I'm like 23 year old billionaire. How could you yeah, not? Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, mainly for Stormy, honestly, just to like watch after Stormy and like drink tequila with Kylie and like have like so much fun because you know Kylie loves to get fucked up. Yeah. Like oh, it's yeah. very obvious. She said, I'm going to get wasted. Like <laughs> that's the kind of marriage I need. And then I'm going to go ahead and fuck Travis Scott just because it's like one and done. Bye bye. And <laughs> <laughs> one and done. Yeah, it's like bye bye. I don't even think he's attractive <laughs> or anything like that, but like. I just can't fuck Jordan Woods. How dare I have to cancel Jordan Woods because it's like she like really like trifled on like the Kardashian Jenner yeah. family. And if I'm marrying a Jenner, then I just can't you like just can't yeah. have that affiliation. You gotta have your loyalty with someone. Exactly. You mm-hmm. can't do that. Yeah, I mm-hmm. yeah. So I'm gonna fuck 
Travis marry Kylie and cancel Jordan. Mm-hmm. So, nice. Yeah. Loves it. Nice. And then last but not least, we have Dua Lipa, Miley Cyrus, and Megan The Stallion. That's a good one. Kind of, I think. Um, that's a good one. Fuck. Uh, wait, you got to skip me. I'm I'm struggling right now. Hold on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel Dua Lipa for the same reasons before. The dancing just really throws me off and weirding me out. <laughs> She's actually gotten better, though. So, like, good for you, girl. But that one. I need to see that. You, was, just, you need to send that to me. Yeah, you're going to die. And then gonna go ahead and marry Miley Cyrus because I feel like she's just hella fun and she's so talented. Yeah. And I also feel like she's very wise because she's been in the industry for like so long. So I feel like she's seen it all and just like could she, give really good. She's advice. also like one of those artists that like was very, very like at the top and then went through that like rough, like mm-hmm. psych not psychotic, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then now she's like doing better than ever. Like mm-hmm. she yeah. came out of it, so that's good. Yeah, and I feel like we would just get like high as fuck all the time and it'd just be cool. Like we would just sleep yeah. a lot. And then Megan the Stallion, I'll just like fuck her because I feel like she's crazy. And if Everybody, I feel yaddy, like if I yaddy, married yaddy, her, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. like I don't like dark liquor and she loves like that douce <laughs> out that motherfucking bottle and that Hennessy. Like I can't do that. And I feel like she'd be like hazing me with all that shit. And yeah. like I can only do that for like one night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One night. I don't know about every night. I, I could mm-hmm. I could dibble and dabble into the dark liquor. But, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I don't want someone that like twerks better than me to like marry me. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I have the same exact one. <laughs> marry Miley. Fuck Megan. Cancel Dua. Honestly. Dua. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, same. Literally same. Loves it. All right, you guys. I guess this concludes this, our very first segment ever, actually, of Fuck, Fuck Mary Cancel. Cancel. If you guys ever want to see us play this again, go ahead and comment down below that you want to see us play it again. And if you and didn't play with us, you're canceled. And yeah. you're not allowed to come back. Yeah. Okay, I didn't mean like, please come back. And then don't forget to comment down below any suggestions that you guys have because maybe we'll go ahead and use them in our next time we play. I love this game, so please leave suggestions. Yeah, it actually is. I don't know why it's so much fun, but it's like the best thing in the world. It's also very nerve wracking. Yeah. I love that and like the hot seat. Mm -hmm. Even though that fucked me over last week. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Fuck that. That's funny. All right. Well, that concludes this segment. We're going to go ahead and hop into our next one. Get in, loser. We're We're giving giving fan fan advice. advice. Because we were so good at this uh, last time, you guys just demanded that we do it again. Oh, no. He's speaking two words. I'm like, so you just do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. good. But it's also a very fun segment because we get to like recognize you guys and who you guys are, and you yeah. guys get to give your input and feel like recognized and noticed, and we're just grateful for you guys and the comments you guys leave and actually interact with us. Aww. So we figure it's great to recognize and appreciate you guys. So we love you guys so much. We love you. He's not wrong. Um, right, who wants to go first, though? I think you should go first. God damn it, man. It's always me. Right, Your life scared. is so hard. Okay, all right. Um, so I don't know if this was like an amazing one to pick, but it was better than a lot of the other ones I got. Yeah, y'all was asking me about my feet and shit. And I like, got some weird shit. <laughs> <too. laughs> like, I even asked nothing like that. Um, what <laughs> advice would you give to other aspiring influencers? So I love that question. People that Go are off. like you know trying to get into the industry or in the social media world. Uh, my advice, uh, I've been doing social media since like 2014, so I feel like I have a pretty good grasp mm-hmm. on this one. Mm-hmm. That's why I picked it. Um, when I got into social media, it wasn't something that like I really like was like wanting to do. I wasn't like, oh, I want to be famous on the internet. And I feel like that's where a lot of people go wrong nowadays is like their goal when starting social media is to be either famous or like rich, mm-hmm. which is like cool. Yeah, do that. But what I've noticed is probably 90% of the time it works out better for people that actually like truly like want to do it and like put forth like the work because like there is a lot that goes into social media and like a lot of time like you literally have to like you know like really uh commit to it and yeah so my advice would be just like actually want to do it and have the right intentions like if you really enjoy what you're doing and you're being yourself don't be fake some of y'all motherfuckers yeah. have a whole persona online and then like in person it's like wait mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah be be true to yourself be committed uh consistency also is, is very important it's so like, important very consistent like mm-hmm. you can't post a video once a month and expect to like you know do well so yeah, yeah. just really don't make like fake ass videos either like make vid- like my piece of advice when i like first started was like make videos that you like to watch exactly so i started like when i first started i made videos that i like to watch on like youtube and tiktok mm-hmm. and it worked well for me because you enjoy making them yeah if yeah. you don't enjoy like the videos that you're making you're not gonna have a good time and like it's just gonna be like yeah. you know and you're not gonna want to edit it or do anything like that. yeah it's it just sucks it be like, oh, I yeah i got like to the this. point where i didn't even want to re-watch my videos or like watch yeah. them after because i was like it wasn't like i had a phase where I felt mm-hmm. like I was just like forced and I was like just doing what I thought I had to do yeah. as opposed to actually enjoying it. 
Very which at true. that point I did like a whole content switch up. So yeah, just stay true to yourself. And if it, it works, it works. Don't, yeah. don't force it. And I also feel like it's good to like try new things and like see what it is you like and what you actually do enjoy. Cause sometimes like you want to try like certain things. You just have like small interests in like fashion, but you're typically like a lifestyle vlogger or something like that. Yeah. You're like, I really do like fashion. Like maybe like try new things and just see how it works out for you. And don't be afraid to like, do something because of what you're like famous for. Like mm -hmm. it's good to like just let people know who you are as an entire person because then they're like, oh, I know this about this person. I know this about this person. I know this exactly. about this person. Like not just, I know what kind of makeup they use. If you have eight different talents and you utilize all of them and like, you know, promote on social media, there's nothing wrong with that. Cause yeah, yeah. people get mad at like TikTokers when they try to do other shit. And it's like, dude, this motherfucker can do this, 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 and this. Like, why, like, you know, hold them to one thing? Like, let them, mm -hmm. yeah. let them be a little fucking butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like, getting number obsessed is also the thing that, like, really oh. shouldn't oh, focus on. Yeah. Because yeah, I feel like everyone bad. has their times where, like, their numbers are great, and then everyone has their times where their numbers are, like, really bad. And it's not necessarily your fault. Well, it's not your fault, actually. I don't want to say. But it can, like, affect like, in, like, your a terrible mood, scandal but, like, you and, can't let it, like. Yeah, Because sometimes it, like, it's affected my mood, mm -hmm. like, in the past, yeah. and it's just you can't let it, like. It gets yeah. to that point where you're just like, oh. I stopped yeah. posting for just like two months because of that. I was just yeah. like on YouTube. I was just like, mm -hmm. fuck. Just that. keep doing it. Keep having fun because it's what your, it's your hobby and or job. So it's like you don't just give up on something because, like, it's not working out on the other end. Like as long as it's still making you happy, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, um, guys, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so what I have here is from Luminous, at Luminous on Twitter, says, my ex still talks to me like he did when we were dating, but says he doesn't have feelings and it's confusing me. LMAO, what do I do? Uh, um, so I feel like, yeah, that's, I feel like that's fucked up. Red and flag, red flag. Big red flag, because I feel like that's fucking with you like mentally. Yeah. And so you're just like kind of like in this like spiral of like, like, I don't know. I feel like if you're in a relationship with someone and the way they talk to you, like, it's because you guys like each other. So if, like, they're still talking the same way when you're not together and you don't have feelings for that person, you're like, well, nothing changed. Like, besides mm -hmm. the fact that we're not in a relationship and now you don't have feelings for me. I feel like when you get out of a relationship, like, she said it's her ex, I feel like when you get out of a relationship, you need, like, a period of time to literally just not talk to each other. Not yeah. talk to each other, not see each other, because then I feel like nothing really is going to change. Whether Even if you're on, like, if you're on good terms or bad terms, it's not going to feel good regardless after the relationship. So you need to take, like, some time, like, away from each other and, like, spend time with your family, your friends, like, keep doing what you're doing in life and, like, get to get used to life without that person. Yeah, like, a little bit of a reality check. You know, yeah, like. and just, like, reset yourself. And I think if they're still talking to you the way that they were when they're together... You should probably call them out for that. That's all I would yeah. say. Like, like, how can you fuck? claim you don't have feelings for me, but you're still treating me or talking to mm -hmm. me the way you did? Like, are you still bringing me ice cream and putting it on my doorstep? Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm like, I got someone else doing that for me now. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, fuck his best friend and make him yes men. And all right. You take a dick pic and then you press send. <laughs> that was great advice, Amari. <laughs> You guys, this were so deep, and this is mine. I smoke way too much weed, but don't know how to slow down or take breaks. Help with an exclamation point. Ari. <laughs> yes, I'm in my Ari. <laughs> Ari, come on in. Well, <laughs> I started smoking when I was like, so I was like really shy, like really shy when I was like up until like 16. And then I started smoking weed when I was like 16 through like, 19 18 ish and it really helped me like I could just like smoke with my friends and like meet new people and it was fine like I smoked every day like yeah. all day long like it was awesome then it started giving me like crazy anxiety like crazy out of this world like I one time <laughs> it was like while I was in LA and I kept smoking through it because like I didn't care like I would just smoke like by myself one time it was like the second time we hung out like once and you mm -hmm. you facetimed me after I took one bong rip I literally let it ring, went into the shower, tried to shower off my high, came out of the shower, took three shots, and then called you back. Like, wow. that's how bad it got. Yeah. But, like, it's so, like, it's not addicting. It's just, like, I want to smoke every day, even if it doesn't make me feel good. Like, I always just, like, wanted to smoke. Yeah. And I finally, like, quit, like, two weeks ago. Because I was just, like, there's nothing good coming out of this. Like, it gives me, I can't answer FaceTime calls. I can't answer texts. I want to delete all my social media. Mm -hmm. I eat 4,000 calories after 9 p.m. <laughs> I have nightmares. I wake yeah. up at noon. Like, there's nothing good about it. It's just the activity that, like, I enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I just, like, 
tried to like just stop and it's really hard, but I just like did it. Jordy did too. He's like, can you just smoke lavender with me? Like help. So I'm like, <laughs> just straight lavender. He's I've like, actually yeah. seen people like do that or they like mm. sprinkle it into like their bowl. I've heard of people yeah. sprinkling it into their bowl, but he's just been smoking lavender. <laughs> <laughs> I just like did it one night though. And it really like, it helped me a lot. So just, just do it. And, I'm like, just do it. Yes, Nike. Just quit weed. <laughs> it's like people almost get addicted to like the process of like rolling it's up. It's addicting to the process. Like just doing this. Like yes. this whole movement. And, like, yes. Yeah. Ari's That's in the I back was. sitting there like watching. He's like, yeah, like I got to the point where hell. I just like <laughs> going backwards. I love backwards. Yeah. Like no, I, I miss just the activity once. of it, like rolling and like smoking and like chilling. Like yeah. I like smoking because I can like focus on like a, I like like learning when I'm, when I smoke. So yeah, I'll like same. watch documentaries and like look up things on Google and read a bunch. But like, that's like the only, edit. yeah. I I, oh no, I can't. I edit videos high. I can't edit because I can't look at myself. No, literally, I hate myself. I'm like, this kid's so fucking Oh yeah. Like, yeah, you get a little over judgmental sometimes. Yeah. It's a whole different thing yeah. when I'm with people. When I'm with people and I smoke, I have to leave. I'll Uber out the fucking window. Like I literally can't be around people. <laughs> yeah. I'll just like, like think about like what I'm saying, like what I look like, like. Yeah, I, I feel like it becomes like a like a mental block because like you said at one point that wasn't a thing for you, but then like that one time you do start thinking like that, you just every time you're getting high, you start thinking like that. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna have anxiety and shit. And then yeah, you know, if it's it not happens. if there's more cons than pros, then just cut it out of your life, cold turkey. Yeah, <laughs> very true. It'll be very fine. true. Wise words of Tara's world. <laughs> 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 the, the new snaps all right you guys that's gonna conclude today's segment of giving fan advice we're cutting it short today because we've been filming for quite some time and we just want to give you guys the opportunity to comment down more so yeah. that we can do this segment again sometime mm. we really babbled this episode which is kind of fun love that mm -hmm. but love a good babble we love you guys babble. so much as always don't forget to follow mm -hmm. us on all of our social media at get and loser pod and remember that video comes out two days after audio. Of course, dear. Damn right. <laughs> of course, dear. <laughs> oh, and then also remember hashtag free Britney. Hashtag cancel Jamie Lynn Spears. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm, okay. put, I'm putting my OnlyFans check to like to support and help figure this out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Get In Loser signing off. <laughs> like, bye, <laughs> losers. <laughs> what if we start calling our fans losers? Is that rude? No. I no, let's fall in losers. Let us know what you guys think. Bye, losers. losers. We'll run some polls. You're yeah. great losers. You're the good <laughs> You're really losers. hot Bye, losers. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah, they trying to end me, I'm running the race. I got to pick up the pace. They throwing shit, but I'm gone. Get in, losers. We're talking shit.